Hello people, it's Chris in Arena Studio with a, another lesson that hopefully is going to be of use to some of you guitar players out there. One of the big questions I get asked a lot are variations on scales, as in things like the A melodic minor or the A harmonic minor. Now if you're a shredder, um, you'll be used to probably playing the A harmonic minor scale. Now all that is, is it's just the natural minor scale with the, the G sharp instead of the G. The seventh note is raised by a semitone, which gives us this. Which gives us a nice quirky kind of flavor to this scale, which is great. Now, the two questions I get asked more than any concerning the A harmonic minor, because when you look at players like Ingve Malmsteen and a lot of the great shredders, they utilize this scale. Uh, incredibly well and it sounds great and it gives them like I say that flavor that tonality a lot of it is down to the a harmonic minor scale now the two questions like I say that I get asked the most is how do we apply the a harmonic minor scale and is there an easier way to memorize it across the fretboard well there is um, and it's a very simple phrase that goes across all, across all six strings and it basically follows a similar pattern of fingers one, two, four, then on the next string it's one, three, four, then the next string one, two, four, next string one, three, four, one, two, four, one, three, four. Once you get that kind of sucked into there a little bit, it becomes a nice straightforward run. So if we look at this on the sixth string and we start on the fourth fret of the sixth string, it gives us the one, two, four shape. Okay, then we just slide onto the A string and move up a string and do one, three, four. Follow that, up a string, up a fret, sorry, and drop a string. One, two, four. Up a string and drop, uh, uh, up a, oh, down a string and up a fret. Then when we get to the B string, we have to go up two frets. So we then go one, two, four, and then carry on with the one, three, four. So I'll show you that all together. Up two frets. Okay, now that, that's great because what that gives you the opportunity to do is, I suppose, if you're looking for monster shred runs, um, it's the great way to play them and you can pick those uh, harmonic minor notes out and rip away, you know, a lot of the... You just repeat the notes like that and you can sort of build the speed and a little bit of distortion you're off and running you can get into warp speed with things like that or nice little patterns over pairs of strings and utilize that or you know and get used to the shapes as you run across the six strings now the other thing that I get asked a lot and i'm not going to dwell too much on that shape because that's something that you can kind of work on yourself Okay, so it's just literally one, two, four, down a string, up one fret, one, three, four, down a string, up one fret, one, two, four, and so on. So it's one, two, four, one, three, four, one, two, four, one, three, four, which when you think of it, it's quite an easy pattern to learn. It's consistent. It's a three note per string pattern across all six strings, which again, all the shredders kind of love this type of stuff. But the other question is, how do we apply this? Now for me, you know, I see a lot of players that play the harmonic minor over an A minor chord and it works but what we've got what I like to kind of utilize more than anything is that we've got a G sharp and we don't have a G sharp in an A minor chord so the obvious thing for me to do would be to look for a chord that has a G sharp in it E major or E major 7 uh, e, e dominant 7 sorry E major or E dominant seven has a has a g sharp in it so again if you were to play over an a minor it works because again it's a bit like the blues scale where you get that that note that doesn't belong but just kind of adds to that flavor that little bit of sexy sauce that you might be looking for 
but if you play it over an E major scale, or a dominant uh, E7 chord, then for me, it sounds more blended uh, because you're utilizing those notes that are required to make sweet music. So think about it, think about your A harmonic minor scale, look at some patterns across pairs of strings or two or three strings, you know, six note patterns are pretty popular with the shredders. Apply those and if you're a shredder already, let me know how you go on with this if you're not used to use, utilizing this, this actual pattern shape like this uh, across all six strings because I'm, I should imagine, I might even go down this route myself as practice this for a while and see whether I can develop some killer speed in it, uh, which would sound pretty Yngwie Malmsteen, I would imagine if you do. Um, and if not, just utilize it, just get a little bit of a, a backing track or, and then you know, play it over that E major chord uh, or the E dominant seventh chord and see what you can come up with. You'll see how these kind of things just sort of gel together a little bit and it, it sounds more, like I say, more complete for me playing it over an E major or an E dominant seventh chord, the A harmonic minor scale. Hopefully that makes a little bit of sense to you. If not, probably rewind and try and absorb it again. And then if you're having any problems, just send me a message or put a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. And as I always say, if I've got the knowledge, I will do my best to give you the correct answers. If not, I'll try and find out for you. So as always from me, Chris, please like and subscribe to my channel and also stay safe, stay well, and keep on rocking in the free world.